Let's talk about Honda and India for a minute. You see, Honda nowadays, for a lack of a better word, just sell bland cars. But that wasn't the case little over a decade ago, when Hondas were actually considered cool in the market. And today we're going to be looking at a Honda that is actually cool. This is a Honda Accord J35 V6. And it is an absolute dream of a car, something that Honda could never replicate. Let's talk all about it. Before we take the car for a drive, let's get a little familiar with what's under the hood. This J35 engine is a pretty famous block and even the platform it comes from, the J series platform, it is a very special block. It's not as well revered as the K series platform, but it still packs quite a lot of punch and quite a lot of technology. This being naturally aspirated, from factory it is pretty limited in terms of tunability unless you open up the engine and absolutely go ham with connecting rods, pistons, everything forged. And then you can opt for a supercharger kit that deletes the power steering system. So from that, you might be getting 380, 390 bhp. However, in its naturally aspirated form with an axle back exhaust, um, new spark plugs, uh, new ignition coils, and a ported air intake, it now produces 15 horsepower more. So it's now around 285 horsepower and a little bit more torque. While those numbers don't sound very, very impressive, it does drive really nicely and the experience is a very enjoyable one. So let's get onto the driver's seat and see how it is. It's raining polos at TDH Classifieds. That's right, we have three polos that are TDH verified and each of them cater to a different enthusiast. You want a fun little hatch that has an automatic gearbox? We have this for sale. A 2021, 26,000 km run, single owner, Polo TSI Automatic Highline Plus. And if you want to add a little bit more excitement to your drive, you can get this 2021 Polo TSI Highline with a manual gearbox. Single owner driven, only 32,000 km. But if you're in search for the ultimate Polo experience, this is the one you want. This is a 2021 Polo TSI Highline Plus manual car with a stage 2 remap from Autodesir, a full system exhaust, a forged blow-off valve and many more mods. All of their details are available on the driversup.com slash TDH classifieds. talk about what makes this car so special, the iconic J35 engine. It is a 3.5 litre single overhead cam engine that is a V6 and it pushes out 271 bhp and 340 newton meters of torque. Nowadays that number is not that special but back in 2010 this was pretty much as fast as you could go and as much power as you could get before entering a proper luxury car and that is high praise. The car also comes with a lot of tech for a 2010 car. It also has active cylinder uh, deactivation which is called VCM, Variable Cylinder Management by Honda and it basically can shut down uh, one bank of the engine so that you are running basically on a three cylinder engine below 2300 rpm which is very good for fuel efficiency and an engineering marvel back in 2010. This is a testament that Honda was actually serious when they were in the market in 2010. But nowadays, all the products being provided by Honda are, let's just say, bland. However, back in 2010, 
they were still making driver's delights. This has a really nice hydraulic steering wheel that has quite a lot of heft to it, but when you're actually pushing the car, it gives very good feedback. The suspension as well is not too hard that it's going to be bone shattering and it's not too soft that it is basically a simple cloud. It is still an involving-ish drive that lets you be able to enjoy the dynamics of the car. In fact, I think this car is still very agile for its size and that is thanks to a double wishbone suspension setup from Honda back in 2010. They don't do that anymore. Coming back to the engine, I'm actually really impressed at how freely the engine revs for a single overhead cam engine. It doesn't pick up the revs very fast but it is slightly fast for a single overhead cam engine and the other good thing is that it sounds pretty nice it's bassy and it's quite rumbly so it does add to a really nice experience one thing that does hinder that experience is the way the gearbox shifts it is fairly smooth and it is in fact it is absolutely non-intrusive while driving normally. However, when you're actually pushing the car and the engine is uh, really going through the gears at the high RPMs, then you do feel that this gearbox is slacking a little bit. And the good news is that you can manual swap it. You can actually go for a Honda Odyssey gearbox that is a manual, but you're going to have to import that, I'm pretty sure. And uh, this could be a very involving experience. You'll also notice how long the gears are. This car has been designed from factory to be a absolute mile muncher. And that is, in my opinion, what it does best. This In this setup with the exhaust, the intake and uh, all of the work, it is now more enjoyable to drive. And yes, Honda did that thing really well. They could make a car that was good for the family, good for all around purposes and still be a driver's car and this j35 v6 accord is testament to that specific honda and that specific era of hondas now well they've become soft boys but at least we've got these old relics to rejoice on do let us know what are your thoughts on the accord v6 and which one would be your choice the 2.4 k24 honda accord or would you pick up a J35 V6 Accord? This generation of Accord was not only meant to go from A to B as a car, but it was also meant to be a statement. So its design was definitely that. It was supposed to prove a point that you're driving an executive sedan, a wide front stance, a serious front bumper, and even the side profile is really long. And it definitely has presence, but it remains understated. I really like the character line that goes throughout the body line in the side profile. And even when you move towards the end, the V6 has always had twin exit exhaust. And now with the aftermarket exhaust, you have a rectangular set of twin pipe exhaust, which look really nice from the end. Overall, unlike the new Accord, the older Accord had a clear purpose, and that was to be a luxurious car that could be fun when you wanted to stamp the throttle on it. And they definitely did that right in 2010. Now, it's maybe a pish posh of everything, right? It's a long car that has sporty looks, and it's basically a confused car. This definitely isn't a confused car. Considering this is a 14-year-old mid-size sedan, the Accord V6 actually came loaded with features. It's got dual climate control, it's got cruise control, paddle shifters, leather upholstery, wooden trim, a premium sound system, and a pretty intuitive infotainment system as well. This entire setup made it feel more like a luxury car compared to what it actually was, a mid-size sedan. 
and you can argue that cars nowadays have all those digital bells and whistles the screen the touch screen button all of that stuff that is really distracting to a driver this generation of car is in my opinion the best blend of tech and feature comforts without overwhelming a driver Older gen Hondas like these are a reminder of a time when Hondas actually sold cool cars in our country when they actually catered not only to families and commuters but also the people who loved driving the accord nowadays might be frugal efficient and reliable but it is definitely missing that fire that made the accord so special and this J35 V6 accord definitely has it in a world of turbocharged inline fours and hybrid petrol engines this old school v6 definitely brings an experience like no other one that can be sedate and one that can be pushed whenever you feel so here you go guys a 2010 honda accord v6 a sedan that will be remembered as one of the last great hondas to ever be sold in india and with that that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching Do let us know what are your thoughts on this V6 Accord. Check out dripshop.pune on Instagram. Thank you so much to them for letting us use their space and their car to film. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Yeah.